you think anger is an entity, anger is not an entity, you become angry. You become angry. Anger is not sitting somewhere and you go hit it, there is no such thing. You become angry. When you become angry, is it pleasant for you or unpleasant for you? Unpleasant for you. Unpleasant for others for sure, unpleasant for yourself also. When you're angry, you're actually poisoning your system, you know. We have always known this, but today chemical tests clearly show you that you're actually poisoning your system, generating poison in the system by being angry. So, why would you want to poison yourself? It is not a conscious act. You're poisoning yourself, you're causing unpleasantness to yourself, only because your mind is not taking instructions from you. Is it… is anger an intelligent expression of human life or an idiotic expression of human life? Hello? Idiotic. So that's all you need to know. <laughs> the next time you're angry, you just know you're stupid <laughs> because you're turning against yourself. You think there is a reason for your anger, which is a wrong perception. If you look at it, people get terribly angry with their loved ones, There's a whole lot of violence within the homes, because they get terribly angry with their loved ones, somebody that they're living with, and they have a good reason to get angry, because she did not cook the breakfast properly, or the dog peed where it's not supposed to pee. Or I have seen people yelling and screaming and breaking their clubs on a golf course where they're just having a good time <laughs> So I'm saying everybody has a reason to be angry. See, if you're driving in the Kwambitur streets, if you're driving in the Kwambitur street, you have to avoid uh, the medians which are in placed in odd places. You have to avoid bad drivers. You have to avoid drunken men crossing the street, children crossing the street, all kinds of things. But when you're driving in Coimbatore street, do you have to avoid the moon? I'm asking, do you have to avoid the moon? No, because the moon is not on the street, isn't it? So similarly, right now are you angry? No? Then why should you avoid it? There's no need to avoid it. It is just that you think anger is an entity. Anger is not an entity. You become angry. You become angry. Anger is not sitting somewhere and you go hit it. There is no such thing. You become angry. When you become angry, is it pleasant for you or unpleasant for you? Unpleasant for you. Unpleasant for others for sure unpleasant for yourself also. When you're angry, you're actually poisoning your system, you know. We have always known this, but today chemical tests clearly show you that you're actually poisoning your system, generating poison in the system by being angry. So, why would you want to poison yourself? It is not a conscious act. You're poisoning yourself, you're causing unpleasantness to yourself, only because your mind is not taking instructions from you. Anger means just this. When you're angry, as a doctor, you know today that when you're angry, literally you're generating poison in the system, literally. If you are poisoning yourself internally and when you're angry, you know you do the most idiotic things in your life. When you turn back and see, you can't believe you did it. But most idiotic things happen when you're angry. So I'm asking, is it… is anger an intelligent expression of human life or an idiotic expression of human life? Hello? Idiotic. So that's all you need to know. The next time you're angry, you just know you're stupid 
because you're turning against yourself. <laughs>